Welcome back to Hannah's Harvest. Well, this morning we're working on a project of using some basil that I have growing, dehydrating it, and hopefully making some delicious tea. This basil is called blue spice basil, and I think if I cut it down now, in August, that I'll be able to harvest another flush of leaves in late September. I think this basil will work particularly well for tea because it's supposed to have kind of a vanilla and sweet flavor. I have tried using this just raw leaves to make tea. I saw a video from Jess on Roots and Refuge do that and I found it to be really bitter. So after doing a little bit of research, I found several recipes on Pinterest of people dehydrating their basil before steeping it for tea. And so I'm hoping that this way makes it more flavorful and less bitter. While I'm out here, I'm going ahead and using my scissors to snip off any of the flower stalks. I don't want to add the flowers to my tea mixture, so I'm just going to go ahead and take care of this right now before I bring them in. Last time I dehydrated basil, I left the leaves on the stems and removed them after they were dry. So I thought this time I would try the opposite way, going ahead and removing all the leaves from the stems. And I hope that it will make this a little bit less messy once everything's dry and ready to be used. The dehydrator has been going for four hours and the basil is nice and dry and crispy. So I'm just going to carefully place it in this jar and then we'll be able to grind it down to use it for tea. I'm stirring the leaves until they become the size roughly of loose leaf tea and this is a little bit of a messy process but I think it'll be worth it um, to have a nice consistency for my tea. I don't have a loose leaf tea diffuser, so I'm just going to use the smallest strainer that I have. The tea has been steeping for about 10 minutes, so I think it's ready for a taste test. It surprisingly 
tastes really good. It tastes a lot like it smells. It's very sweet, almost fruity, with a little bit of a vanilla type taste. I think if I was gonna add any milk and honey that I would probably steep it for closer to 15 minutes, but I would say this was definitely a success. And I do have some cinnamon basil out in the garden right now that I think that I'll harvest and dehydrate and add to this tea blend. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today.